Hello there, my peeps, and welcome to day 51 of living the restricted life. Day 51. Um, what do we got going on for day 51? Not a lot, but there is some good news in only two more sleeps. Two more sleeps. We can have, um, I can have five people come over to my place. Um, we can have an outdoor gathering of up to 10 people. So I'm pretty freaking excited about that because that means um, I can go out and shoot some hoops. So I'm really, I'm like super excited about that. Um, and, you know, like it's looking good for, you know, eventually the pub's reopening. I tell you what, when that day comes, oh my God, I'm going to like... I think, you know, Mrs. Chan, he's been doing really well um, during this time. He's been keeping up with his exercise. I have not. And, um, yeah, so it's my own fault that I'm a fat fuck. So if everyone's out there going, well, why aren't you exercising, you know? I, you know, well, for a start, as my back's fucked. It fucking hurts, okay? <laughs> like, even just to go for a walk around the block. Um, that's a whole other story. Um, but anyway, my, my point being is Mrs. Chance been really good and kept up his exercises. So chances are, um, that when we do have the, um, return to the pub and also he is on this 100 days of no drinking thing. And I think he's up to around day 20 or something like that. He's, he's around there. Um, anyway, um, so he won't be drunk and he'll be strong from all the exercise he's doing. So he can carry me home from, from the pub to here um, when said night happens. Because I'll be making him come with me. <laughs> he's got no choice. Poor Mrs. Chan. I might have to drag, um, uh, you know, and Donnie too. So, you know, the pair of them can drag me home. And, um, and I know that they can do it because it's been done before. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a great night. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So, you know, in two more days, I can, I can have five people over. Um, so I'm excited about that because, um, you know, I, I will be seeing peeps. Um, now, the other thing that, you know, I've been thinking about, right? So back in April, um, when it was my birthday, I was meant to have um, a party a week before my birthday. And lo and behold, the restrictions come in the week before my birthday. Those fuckers right so I could not have my birthday party which like you know um really um like significantly aggrieved to me um so anyway I at that time I was like you know what I'm just going to postpone it to middle of June so hopefully you know everything will be sorted by then um now here is my <laughs> here is my dilemma so for my um birthday party it was an it, it's it's a 90s party 90s theme so come dressed as you know either in 90s clothes or a person from the 90s I have been lobbying for many people to come to my party dressed in overalls because um I don't know I just have a thing for overalls <laughs> like please someone come to my party in overalls um I think Donnie was going to oblige so my friend um my friend Donnie sorry I am digressing but just please give me a moment here my friend Donnie who is this uber talented artist um he's been doing a lot of murals and he does like that um what's it called when you know you video yourself in real time but then when you play it back it's all like really you know really fast I don't know but he does that that filming and um he's always wearing overalls and he just looks so cute like not in a sexual harassment cute type of way but cute like I just want to put him in my pocket and carrying him around like also not in a sexual harassment type of way because you know Donnie's my bro like and, and you don't do that with your bros and and I love Donnie but anyway um getting back to my dilemma so um some of us had decided that we would dress as um, the Spice Girls. Um, and I, you know, obviously because of the blonde hair, had chosen baby. And I had the outfit all like I bought the outfit. It's very sexy. <laughs> There's just one problem. I don't fit in the outfit anymore. <laughs> 
So if I like, if I decide to do this um, party, let's say in a month's time, um, I guess that means that <laughs> I'll be on a diet of laxatives for the next month. <laughs> So I can fit in the outfit or like exercise more. Yes, like, you know, diet and exercise, that's really sensible. But I think I'm going to go the lax. No, I don't know if I want to go the laxative route. I have to work that out. But anyway, that's my problem. That is my dilemma. I, I want to have this party, but um, yeah, I have to pull my finger out and diet and exercise or diet of laxatives. <laughs> Watch this space. Ooh, the candle making from last night. Candles are looking pretty fancy, aren't they? Woo! I should sell these. Okay, so I've been going through all of Bree's clothes and I've come up with this little collection here. Here's my um, Kath Day Night jumper that I will be, um, I'm going to wear it to Mrs. Chance when I'm over there next and I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to walk in with it and then I'll be like, so what do you think of my jumper? But here's the piece de resistance. I found this jumper and I was like, oh, I totally have to have it because orange is my colour, right? Oh, isn't that sexy? And I even got the beer to match too.